Hey Madison, welcome back to class. Grab your exercise book and put that pencil to good use. Madison is still thinking about the amazing time she had in Paris. Darn it. How did this happen? Don't tell me all the pencils got broken in my bag. You should probably protect your pencils by buying a case or even better, come up with an idea to make one yourself. Emily's makeup brush roll sure looks like it does a great job of keeping her brushes secured in one place. Hmm, if only we could do something similar. Grab a long piece of felt, then use a ruler to mark a dozen small lines. Grab some scissors to make some cuts. Using both of the horizontal holes, place all of your colored pencils through. Roll the fabric into a big burrito. Place a single drop of hot glue in the center and attach a ribbon. Add a decorative ribbon for a visual twist. The ribbon will keep the pencil case intact. Tidy up and you're done. Madison is back in class, this time with her custom DIY pencil roll, which almost looks like waves of a rainbow. Even Emily is impressed by Madison's creativity. Do you mind if I borrow one? It looks like Jessica's pen just ran out of ink and the old blow air onto the ballpoint tip trick is not helping out. Oh no, her pencil case zipper just broke off. Great way to start your morning class, isn't it? No worries, Jessica may have just found a quick solution. Fill the center of the paper clip with glitter colored hot glue over a sheet of baking paper. Let it dry for a minute or so. And lastly, hook the paper clip onto your pencil case and bam, we fixed it. With this easy fix, Jessica managed to replace her broken zipper and won't have to worry the next time something like that happens again. Jessica is a fashion enthusiast and she's looking for new clothing ideas. So far, nothing good has popped into her mind. We're looking for something simple and minimalistic. Hold on a second. Maybe those sharp notebook lines are just what she needs to make her white shirt pop. Lay down the shirt and place a piece of cardboard inside. Cover the whole shirt with horizontal lines of paper tape, keeping small lines in between. Next, paint the space between the tape using a blue paintbrush. Remove all the safety tape and add another two vertical strips in order to create a single red line. This is the key element for the notebook vibe. Remove the remaining tapes and write your name on the very top corner using a permanent marker. Maybe practice first, you only have one chance. Voila! Jessica is about to go back to school and show off her playful, eye-catching t-shirt. Emma has once again messed up her class schedule and has disturbed the class. Slink quietly into your desk, girl, and pretend none of this happened. Unfortunately, Emma is about to realize she completely messed up her schedule and forgot about her math test today. Ay ay ay! Back at home, she realizes that her system of sticky notes are messy and impractical. But now, all of that is about to change. Emma can't allow herself to miss class anymore. Let's grab our old comics picture, flip it and remove the cover, replacing the art page with a newly printed calendar. Put the cover back, flip it, and you're all done. Glass is the perfect surface to mark all of your important dates using an erasable marker. With the help of the calendar, Emma won't have any more schedule mix-ups and will be ready for every test. Oh look, we got here a bit earlier. Just enough time to chill. Emily is preparing for an evening with her classmates. She's going to lay out all her makeup and start her primping session by putting on some foundation. 
bad news is, she just ran out of it. Always happens when you least expect it, right? Good news, she might just be able to use it for something. Clean the leftover foundation out of the case using a cleaning wipe. Grab some sticky notes and cut them into circular shapes. Measure them so they are the right size. Lastly, place them inside. You can now write out all your notes inside this handy case. Emily now not only has a mirror to check herself out with, but can also securely store her sticky notes. Madison has been working on her math assignment for hours now, and her legs are about to go numb. The discomfort is definitely not helping her focus. She'd rather lift her legs up and these pillows might actually do the job. Unfortunately, they're too low and not firm enough. Maybe with a small enhancement, we could make it work. Lay out the pillow and use a seam ripper to untie all four corners. A one inch gap should be just enough. Grab two sticks, place them through the holes on both sides. Hook all four ends of the sticks with the rope loops. Now just stick two self-adhesive hooks on both sides of the table. Hook the ropes up and voila, our hammock is done. Madison will now be able to rest her legs and relax for a minute. Emily is using her nail file in class, but little does she know, it's not allowed. Well, at least not in front of the teacher. Luckily, she has a spare one laying in her pencil case. But how can we make sure the teacher doesn't confiscate it again? Using a ruler and pen, mark up your nail file with measurements. Add some numbers for an extra visual. That was fast. Emily can now continue to use her nail file and pretend it's a ruler during class. Now, she'll be using her ruler more than ever, just maybe not for math. Ashley and Emily are discussing their school break trips. They had so much fun traveling to all the amazing places in Europe. But Madison is feeling left out and would rather go home. Madison's bummed out because it's been forever since she's been on vacation. Furthermore, these text messages with special offers are definitely not helping out her mood, especially when her wallet is pretty much empty. Don't worry, Madison. I'm sure you'll end up visiting all those beautiful places at some point. For now, let's just keep our minds positive and start saving pennies. Wait, it seems Madison has already figured it out. Let's turn our water jar into a, a travel fun jar. Simply stick a sightseeing poster on the back facing inward using transparent tape. Add a single slice of gaffer tape in the front and use a crayon to write your dream travel destination. It's done. A couple of spare dollars a day and Madison will have enough to take that trip. London, Paris, Rome, here I come. Emily and Jessica are working on their homework. Emily wants to put a touch of lip balm, but she is all out. What a bummer. Jessica's bendable eraser sure looks cool, but wouldn't it be much cooler if it was just a little sturdier? Wait a second, maybe this lip balm case doesn't have to go to waste. Squish a kneadable eraser and form it into a lipstick shape. First, you'll want to clean the lip balm out using a cotton swab. Really dig in there. It's going to take a few minutes. Now just insert the eraser inside the hole. Voila! You can now use your redesigned lipstick to erase all your pencil mistakes. Get ready to mess with your classmates. Let's put the top back and give it to Jessica to try out. I wonder if she'll notice the changes we made. <laughs> try it out on a paper, silly. Wow, it actually works! The lip balm container keeps the eraser intact. Meanwhile, I think it's best we stick to the real lip balm instead. As always, Madison is having a sugar craving. Excuse me, Emily, do you mind? 
Yeah, of course. She doesn't want to seem greedy. Madison is still not satisfied. And looking at that chocolate bar is definitely not helping her out. It's too good. Just one more. It looks like Emily is getting irritated here. Once more, she tries to focus, then pretends to focus. But the temptation is too much. I'm sure Emily won't mind. What? Pretty please? Oh well. Emily has a brilliant idea on how to teach Madison a lesson. We'll use her notes in the leftover chocolate bar plastic. Lay down baking paper. Pour some flour and add a generous layer of silicon. Use disposable gloves to knead and mix the two elements. Roll out the dough and with a ruler, make some lines. Outline the shape of a notebook on the dough using a sharpie. Cut the dough down to a rectangular chocolate bar shape. Lay it down and paint the entire bar brown. Cut the chocolate bar wrapping in half. Cut through the sides. Add a layer of hot glue inside. Place a small notepad you trace with inside. And add another layer of glue. Place your fake chocolate bar on the notebook cover. Glue the plastic package on top and on the sides. Tidy up. Feel free to open your chocolate bar and write down some notes. Perfect, it's done. Emily is back at school with another bar of chocolate. And this time our sugar fiend is about to taste some salt. Do you mind? Oh yeah, go ahead Madison. Mmm, that's what I thought. I think she finally got the message. Hey Crafty Pandas, I hope you enjoyed these school hacks. Let us know which of them you're going to use next to the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned for more.